We say good morning to attorney Austin Pennington. Our legal expert Austin Pennington joins us. Austin Pennington from the Pennington firm, pfdallas.com. Austin Pennington. Austin Pennington. Our legal expert Austin Pennington. On Tuesday, Shelley Luther of Salon Alamode was held in contempt of court, fined $7,000, and sentenced to seven days in jail for violating the court's temporary restraining order. What happened here is that Shelley opened her salon in spite of the Dallas County shelter-in-place orders, in spite of Governor Abbott's orders to keep salons closed. So the city of Dallas went and applied for a temporary restraining order. Court issues that order, orders Ms. Luther not to open her salon, and she does it anyways. So afterwards, city of Dallas asked the court to hold her in contempt. Judge Moyer of the 14th District Court explained his position on this matter and why he decided to ultimately hold her in contempt. And as Allison Harris of Fox 4 News explains, he offered her an out in this situation. Your actions were selfish, putting your own interests ahead of those of the community in which you live, that they disrespected the executive orders of the state the orders of the county and this city. He gave her a chance to avoid jail time if she apologized and promised to close until salons are allowed to reopen Friday. His offer did not compel her. I, I have to disagree with you, sir, when, I, when you say that I'm selfish because feeding my kids is not selfish. I have hairstylists that are going hungry because they'd rather feed their kids. So, sir, if you think the law is more important than kids getting fed, then please go ahead with your decision, but I'm not going to shut the salon. The judge found Luther and her company, Hot Mess Enterprises, guilty of civil and criminal contempt of court. Luther was taken into custody, sentenced to seven days in jail, one for each day her salon was open after the court ordered her to close, plus $1,000 for each day that it was open, totaling $7,000. She'll continue to be fined $1,000 for each day that it's open until Friday. What's important to know here is that this is not a criminal conviction. It's not going to go on a record. It's not like getting a DWI. It's not like getting a drug, drug possession charge on your record. It's simply punishment and the court using its inherent power to punish an individual for not complying with the temporary restraining order issued by the court. Ironically, this Friday marks the day salons may open up and continue to operate. And Ms. Luther probably created a bigger financial burden on herself by disobeying the court's order versus just being patient and waiting until she was allowed to open back up for business legally. For more on this, tune in to our next episode of Hashtag Lawyered, where myself and Andrea Steffens will tackle this issue, as well as many other events going on here in law and business in Dallas. Legal expert, Austin Pennington.